In this session, I want to show you how to set up QC Calc real time so it automatically transfers data to the Volt Pattern Analysis software. I'm going to open QC Calc real time in software which will allow me to simulate measuring a part on a CMM. In this example, I'm going to run the OP10 simulation. Now, when I do that, QC Calc real time will open up the OP10 database. Now, what I'd like to do now is actually set up a export, an automatic export, so that when data flows into QC Calc real time, it automatically exports the data to the bulk pattern analysis software. To set up the automatic export, you choose the export menu from QC Calc real time. With QC Calc real time, you can set up a primary and a secondary automatic export. You'll notice here that our primary export is already turned on. Uh, we, are QC, we are Reaction Plan Manager++ plus plus users, so we already have the default automatic exporting set so that the data is automatically transferred to Reaction Plan Manager++. Plus plus. So in this example, I'm going to set up a secondary export so that when data flows through QC Calc real time, it will export data to Reaction Plan Manager++ plus plus and also to the bulk pattern analysis software. The steps to set up a secondary off, uh, secondary export is very similar to the primary export. You just have an additional um, entry that you have to fill out for the primary. Let's go ahead and choose the secondary export setup menu selection here. When you do that, a window will appear. You are looking at the uh, export type. Here we need to tell it where you log, where are you sending the data to. So we're going to be sending the data to Becker Quality Solutions, the bulk pattern analysis software package. That will assure that the data file is a correct format that can be easily read by the bulk pattern analysis software. For the path, you simply choose the directory path that you want the file to go to. I'm going to leave that alone, set it to the default, which is C colon backslash Becker Quality Solutions. The next entry is the file name. I'm going to change this to match the name of the database file, which is op10.csv. So when the data is exported, it'll go to the op10 data file and it'll be in the appropriate format which is conducive to the bulk pattern analysis software. And it'll end up in the Becker Quality Solutions directory. Now the next thing you want to choose is the range of records. Now in this case there are a variety of, of selections. You can pick what you want. I personally prefer the newest records in the file and I'm going to let the number of records be 25. So that means the last 25 parts will be exported when the export actually occurs. The dimensions to export, I leave the default setting there, that's fine, all in file. And the rest of the, of the entries just leave alone. The miscellaneous choice over here, uh, leave the defaults, that'll, be, that'll work just fine. When you're done, you say OK. And now you've set up the export, the secondary export for the OP10 database. We still have to turn on the secondary export. So once we turn this on, we're now finished. And so when data flows into the OP10 database, it'll automatically export data to the bulk pattern analysis software. Let's go ahead and trigger an export to see if it actually worked. To do that, I'm going to click on Export and choose the Export Data Now. When I do that, that should have triggered the export. So if I open up Explorer, I can see that op10.csv now appears in, in the Becker Quality Solutions directory, so it worked. You're probably wondering, how does the software know when to export the secondary export? What triggers the secondary export? Well, the secondary export takes on the export frequency from the primary. 
So what, however you have the primary export set up, as far as the frequency of export, that's when the secondary export will, will export the data as well. To figure that out, if I click on the export menu selection and I choose the setup, ex, setup automatic exporting, you'll notice another menu selection here on the left called frequency. If I click on that, you'll see that there's a uh, choice here which is highlighted, which is the records received, and it's set to one. So when one record is received inside QC Calc Real Time, it'll automatically trigger the export, which means not only will it export the data to Reaction Plan Manager Plus Plus, it'll also trigger the export for the bolt pattern analysis as well. In this session, I've showed you how to set up a secondary export inside QC Calc Real Time to send data to the bolt pattern analysis software. If you don't have two applications that you're sending data to, you could just set up the primary export. The steps are pretty much the same, except you have that additional choice for the frequency. Some users like to set up the default, so by default, the automatic export occurs. This is kind of nice because you can set it up once and forget about it. So when a new database is opened up, the export is already configured and it just happens. To set up the defaults, it's really pretty simple. You click on the export. I'm going to turn off the secondary. And instead of choosing the setup automatic exporting, I'm going to choose the setup automatic export defaults. Now notice I've got this checked. Force default export settings for all parts. That will uh, set it up so that by default this is going to happen no matter what. Uh, so now for the export type, here I've got Reaction Plan Manager++ plus plus as my export type. I'll simply change that to the bolt pattern analysis software. Select my path. And for the file name, you're going to do something a little different here. You're going to click on custom and I'm going to add the file name and put in a .csv. Now what that means is the the bracketed fn is like a variable and what that means is it'll grab the database name and stick it in there. So uh, now by default it will use the database name as the file name for the export. And of course you fill out the rest of it. It's just like what you learned uh, difference is you got to click on the frequency, make sure your frequency is set the way you want it. When you're done, you say OK. Now, by default, it's going to export data to the bolt pattern analysis software. So even if I open up a new database, it'll automatically export the data to the, the, the new data file. That's really all there is to it. Once you're finished setting up your automatic export inside QC Calc Real Time, you're ready to work on the configuration for the data collector in the bolt pattern analysis software. To learn more about the bolt pattern analysis software, I suggest you view the help videos for the bolt pattern analysis software. Visit www.beckerqualitysolutions.com and you will see a link to the help videos.